how's it going, Shiners? I'm Shiner Connor, and we're here for a Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire Wi-Fi Pokemon battle video here. I will be posting round two of the playoffs for the Indigo League of Legends against the U-Turn Crobat later this week. Be on the lookout for that, but in the meantime, why not just have a nice battle with my longtime rival, Leo? I am using some unconventional Pokemon in this battle, which would make it a lot more interesting, I must say. So, I'm going to start out with my Speedball here, Speedball the Electrode. I go for Foul Play on the Torterra, which, uh, that, that does not do anything, because Torterra is obviously physically defensive. He goes for Stealth Ross. That's a little bit unfortunate, because I don't think I have a Rapid Spinner or a Defogger to get rid of them. And so thinking he's just going to go for a Leech Seed or a Ground-type move to hit Electrode with, now's the time to go into my Choice Spasrochios. And I know that the the Forges, Forges is going to come in here to, you know, take a Dragon-type move. That's what Leo is expecting. But, I expected him to switch on to Forges. So, we'll go with the Psychic. And that being Choice Specs, does a lot of damage to the Forges. Which I'm really happy about. Unfortunately, since Leo got the Leech Seed up, he's going to be taking my health away in exchange for him restoring his own health. And so thinking he's just going to go for a Wish right here, or a Moon Blast, now is the time going to my Mega Steelers. I like Mega Steelers. A lot of people don't use it. I don't know why, but it has a cool design right here. And this particular Steelers has Stealth Ross of my own. So we'll get those up on the field as well. And then we can go for Gyro Ball. I think that's what Leo here is expecting me to go for. So he goes into his Torterra once again. To take the gyro ball and wow just wow you'll see how much this does yeah that much that that's really sad because like really i need some special attackers here uh I'm, I'm, I'm not really sure at this point what to do i, I figured okay he's going to go for a leech seek again we'll just go for dragon tail i do end up forcing out and bringing in Altaria right here, which is great because we have the Altaria take Stealth Rock damage coming in, but the Leech Seed is still active. I have to switch out in order to get rid of it. Now, even if he wants to go for the Mega Evolution like he chooses to do, I knew he had Heat Wave, and I also knew I could live it because I have, I do have a little bit of special defense EVs to take a heat wave, barring a critical hit, but I, you know, I do end up hitting the Altaria, but we come out real short, unfortunately to say. So we lose Terrakion, or I lose Steelers, by bringing in Terrakion here. Terrakion is to a scarf in this battle, I'm going for Stone Edge, I don't miss it, fortunately I get a critical hit, but that isn't going to matter because of the HP level that the Altaria is at. I think Leo was expecting me to miss the Stone Edge or something, I don't know. Now he brings in Excadrill. He knows I'm choice Scarf because if I weren't Scarfed, Altaria would outspeed Terrakion. So he's going to take that opportunity to go for Rapid Spin to get rid of my own Stealth Cross. Here I go for choice Best Surf and uh, I miss on the KO again, and because Excadrill has Mold Breaker as his ability, even though Lachios has Levitate to dodge Earthquakes, Mold Breaker bypasses it, so Earthquakes is going to hit Lachios. But that's okay, now we're going to Revenge Kill with my Terrakion, go for the, sec the Sacred Sword, and that worked out pretty well for me. Unfortunately, I, I I have to face a Shell Smash Cloister right now, which is not really something I want to deal with necessarily. 
and what I can know is that even after a Shell Smash boost, Drakion is still faster. But at this point in the match, I was like, oh no, I can't outspeed this guy right now. So I figured, okay, I can outspeed him with Speedball and I can probably take a few hits. But no, I, I sacrificed Speedball to like three, three Icicle Spears. And now I go into Absolute because Absolute, the Absol, has Sucker Punch, which is priority, but of course, Cloyster commonly carries Ice Shard for priority, and because he's stacked up, he's going to be faster. So he'll be hitting the Ice Shards. That worked out pretty well for me, not. And then I go into my Cloyster. This is just so bad, you know? Because at the time, I didn't know that Terrakion would outspeed the Cloyster, even after going for the Shell Smash. And we find it right here, but unfortunately, Terrakion is my last Pokemon. So, being Choice Scarfed, at this point in the match, I am forced to go... I, I think I could have Scarfed for a Stone Edge, but I was wary of missing, so that's why I went for this close combat instead of Stone Edge. If I were to hit the Stone Edge, I would have hit the Cloyster, assuming that I would not miss it. And then I could hit the Forges, but either way, I don't think Forges would be KO'd anyway if I went for Stone Edge instead of close combat, but that was neither here nor there, sadly. And we lose to Leo. But that was still a fun match, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, hit that like button, subscribe, and I will have the round two battle versus the U-turn Crobat by next Wednesday or so. So be on the lookout for that. I'll see you all later. Alright, goodbye trainers.